What is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video today and today I got a new toy with more attachments that you can add later on. Uh, I actually did get one different attachment while I was buying it and as you guys seen from probably the picture when you clicked on this video, uh, you know what it is. So I'm going to be unboxing it for you guys, setting it all up. Hopefully I don't mess it up and I actually have a job just up the street to edge their driveway so let's get to it uh let's unbox this and let's go do that job quick here we go so here it is here's the original box with the edger and the string trimmer attached and then i also got a brush cutter uh i really wanted one of these so it's easier for me to take out bushes if they don't want them all the way out with the stumps i can just cut them with this instead of bothering bringing a chainsaw and all that good stuff so let's unbox these so firstly, let's just get this out of the way quick and see what this is all about. A lot of parts, I don't even know what to do with. So first, I'm gonna guess a shield for your back so people know not to come close. I'm guessing there's a way to put this on or something. So there's that. Secondly is all these parts. Um, good thing I'm not putting this thing together tonight because I would probably struggle. So there's all that instructions and all that stuff. Um, here's this that uh, attaches to this I'm gonna guess um, and lastly the blade itself let's open this sucker up and see how sharp it is actually Ooh, dang. a lot bigger than expected and holy crap these things are sharp and I actually wonder how easy this could cut through uh, I actually do have a job coming up this following weekend. I gotta cut some bushes out. So I'm actually gonna use this. So that's also another reason I bought this is because I wanna try it out on this job coming up. So that's all that was in that box. Let's open this big box. what it looks like in the box um, let's grab this out of here first um, can't really tell what's in there just looks like a bunch of more parts some oil mix and string head and some other good stuff uh, let's grab this first uh, just another attachment piece we'll just set this here for a second mm. let's grab this out of here so this is the actual edger. Holy crap, these are a lot bigger in person actually. And I didn't even know these blades were like this. I didn't know what kind of blade it came with or whatever, but this is actually freaking huge in person compared to what I see on the videos I watch. Let's just set this there. And lastly, the main source of power. Here it is. So, it is an Echo, as you guys seen. It's a 220, or yeah, 225. Yeah, right there, 225. Uh, so it's pretty much just like my uh, other string trimmers, but this one it can have attachments. So I'm glad I actually did purchase this because there are a few attachments I liked on the box. I'll get it for you quick. So, all these attachments here, right here, so tiller, brush cutter, string trimmers, uh, pole saw, uh, hedgers, and 
actually a blower too. So I mainly got an attachment one just because you can get so many different attachments for just this one part and it'd be just a lot better than buying a bunch of different stuff. So this is pretty much just like a one and I don't know, eight multi-tool, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to try to set this up. Hopefully it don't take too much. Just going to pop this off. Ooh. Anyways, so I'm just going to put this on here, I think. Alrighty, so I had to make a quick phone call to actually know how to put this in correctly. So there's a hole on the bottom of this that this pretty much just inserts and locks it in. So now I'm going to take this and put this. So, put this about right here, get this on the nut, and then I'm going to twist this. And what this is doing is tightening this together, hopefully. Now I can just use my finger. But making this tight so it holds. So now it's in there for sure. So. Hopefully this is all correct. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Here's the bottom. And then, so I do think this is correct. So I'm going to fill it up with gas here. And we're going to see how good she starts. So let me grab some gas. I'll get it so you guys can see. And all this is is a 50 to 1 ratio, if you guys are wondering. There we go. That's full. Close that up. So let's see how soon it actually starts. There we go. Cold start and first pull, here we go. I'm really hype so I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the boxes and put it in the back of the truck for a later time of use but right now I'm gonna load this up get a tarp get a shovel and a rake and let's go do this driveway what do you say see you in about two seconds before I head there I want to show you guys my setup so I do have a topper on when I bought this truck and I just left it on kind of I like it I just threw that in there till I can put it in the garbage but so my setup pretty much is so I got my oil let's turn this on got my oil up here some straps and a foam cannon for power washing got my laminator right here uh, I ordered some more uh, pool shock I got my string right here with some scissors I got my mixed gas uh, I got my two trimmers uh, going back to there I got my uh, gas for the mower and then also the Cub Cadet. And so this mower, I do a push mowing lawn every Sunday. So this is pretty much what this is. It just kind of stays in there um, instead of unloading it and loading it every time. And as you guys know, 
new toy edger. Uh, I just threw these in here uh, for this edging job. Uh, I got my blower here and I turned it sideways because I like to start it here and then I can just easily turn it around, put it on my back and pull it out. Uh, I got my jumper, jumping pack here just in case anything goes wrong. Right here, I got a chain uh, also if anything goes wrong or pulling out some stumps. Um, right here, I got my boots. So if I'm either mowing or weed whacking in the morning, I can put these on so my feet don't get soaked. Uh, I have this little cord right here. Uh, that's where I usually hang my headphones. And up here is the head that came with the new toy. So if I wanted to change it out, I have that head too. Right here is uh, it's uh, poison for stumps. So if I cut a bush to a stump or whatever, I can put that on there and it'll kill it. And right here, I just kind of filled this up with uh, some more gas for these guys just in case I run out of that. I have this up here. And so that pretty much completes my setup besides the trailer. Uh, I got the big mower in here and then the small mower in the other white shed. So pretty much this is my whole setup. So if you guys have a topper that you can lock, uh, I definitely recommend doing this. It's a lot easier so you don't have to load this every single time. And it's just there when you need it so you can just go 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 it's a lot faster uh i've got told so many times to take this ugly topper off oh man i love it actually so i'll show you guys what it looks like with it closed this door's a little squeaky so i gotta put some wd-40 on that so hold on for a second so this is what the truck looks like so there's the truck and that's what the topper door looks like and then I have my trailer there so this is pretty much the setup uh, the topper kind of looks like a hearse I've got told so but I, I like it it's I mean I can lock the handle and it's just easy to throw in lock up and get going the next day so that's why I like it so much um, so I'm gonna go grab a tarp or uh, trash bags and I'm gonna go to this job. So here we go.
Alrighty, so it is currently 7.43 and it got dark pretty fast. Uh, I kind of expected to work into the dark. Luckily, I had my he headlamp, so it was all good. Uh, I just finished. Uh, as you guys seen, I blew it off and got it all looking good. So uh, I got all the stuff loaded on the trailer and I'm going to swing by tomorrow after school, see how it looks. And if there's something I need to touch up, I'm going to touch it up for it quick. So I did tell her it was free because she let me record for you guys. And uh, it's a brand new toy and I just want to test it out. So she got it for free and I think she really liked it from what she's seen from the one side at least. Uh, because it got dark before she seen the other side but she's gonna look at it tomorrow but i think she really liked it she said she wants it done more so that's good news so i'm gonna park the truck and get out and get some supper and go to bed so uh, i'll catch you guys tomorrow when we go look at the final product see how it went and so yeah see you then Alrighty, so it's the next day and i am going to check this out since it's daylight i just got done mowing and stuff so i'm on my way there now so i'll see you when i get there